Hello there, and welcome to this Untame screencast. Today, we're going to go over Font Awesome, an incredible icon set designed for use with Twitter Bootstrap. But moreover, I'm going to show you how to integrate it in one of your projects rather quickly, and we'll get to play around with it a little bit. To get started, we'll head over to bootstrapcdn.com by NetDNA. I already have that open in this tab, so bootstrapcdn.com. And they have put together quite a collection of easy links, almost the same way that you would link up jQuery um, using Google CDN. They use that for Twitter Bootstrap. So you can get started quickly by just linking Bootstrap in your head and linking the JavaScript in your foot. But today we're only going to play around with the header styles. So they've also put together a set specifically for use with the font awesome icon um, fonts library they have the complete bootstrap CD CSS without the icon so that's exactly what we want and we're also going to want the complete CSS for font awesome so what this is going to do is it's already going to do all the linking up that we need of the font awesome library including all the fonts um, and the bootstrap of course without the font awesome CSS so I've gone ahead and gotten started with a code pin with a, on a div with a class of wrap. And let's go ahead and put a button of some sort in there and include a icon font. So let's start out with an A tag. Let's see, the class of, first we'll do button, btn, and maybe button info. Close out that A tag. Nice, so we already have our Twitter bootstrap button, so we can see that our icon fonts are being brought into this document. Within CodePen, I got that going by integrating the stuff for the head and linking up those two style sheets. So that works out pretty well with the system. Next, let's integrate our icon font. So we can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just adding in the icon font this way. I, the class, of icon play, because it will make this a play button. So that's exactly what we've done, and you can see that we have some pre-done styles here. Our font has a size of 36 pixels. This wouldn't be possible with the original image-based Twitter bootstrap and we can resize that for whatever we'd like so let's see our font size is that so we have 36 pixels how about let's take a look at 48 pixels 48 yep so we just grew that it's dynamic just like text would be and so our line height would be within the button itself would be 48 pixels and that looks about right so let's run that back to 36 pixels And 36. Let's play a little bit with the color. So let's see, what if we wanted maybe a red button in the middle of this blue? We could absolutely do that. All we have to do is create, change the color out to red. And there it is, refreshed. All of these things you can't necessarily do with the image based icons. Let's change this one out to a dark gray. So maybe. threes so that looks nice and notice within all of this we have the uh, the text shadow on the eye you have a text shadow of one pixel with that light blue so it has a nice inset look so that was a quick overview of how to integrate font awesome within your project and some of the benefits we can get by using it thanks for watching